All right, this is part two of getting some data from Moz and their awesome free trial with a lot of great information on keywords and on your own site and those of competitors. So I want two more files so we can bring in some more pieces of information. Uh, so where we're going to go is the link research and overview page. Uh, so we are going to do this for Frank and Oak. So that is a Canadian clothing company. I'm in the sweater uh, mode for the season. And that is one that I'm going to look at. I would also like to look at uh, a competitor, although it's a little bit more on the department store side. They sell similar items of clothing and they are super cozy. So I'm excited to check that out and maybe see a little bit of the differences on what pages are popular or what they might be doing. So even though they're a little bit different, might be able to learn something new in the data from Moz. So looking up Frank and Oak, See, we have this part of the overview in the Link Explorer. So typing that root domain in and analyzing, and it gives us uh, a domain authority ranking. So compared to the other domains in the index, uh, that makes sense. I'm sure some of those bigger brands are a little bit higher than that. And we're really talking about the links here. So all of the links, uh, the follow links, linking domains, like is it coming from YouTube? Is it coming from somewhere else? Uh, and then on that page, what are the top pages? So I'm just going to take two of these. There's a whole bunch here. Obviously, we could look at every possible thing on here, but we have limited time. So I am going to take the CSV export for all links and also the one for top pages. That way we can see if we can find out any information that'll be helpful for us. What that'll do here, uh, so the top, it's basically these two graphs, the top followed links to the site. Looks like we have something interesting already. Looks like there's a, a few Reddit posts that are actually uh, drawing some people in, as well as a BuzzFeed on best Canadian online shopping sites. Uh, it is a little bit lighter on e-commerce there. Granted, they have uh, maybe 10% approximately of our population, somewhere around 35 million. And so the uh, ability to get stuff across the border from the US and shipping and be reasonable doesn't always work out. So some of these could actually be a very uh, popular post that will direct you to the best sites there. Uh, also some fashion advice and, and everything like that. So here are the top pages on the website itself. Uh, they have the Canadian version of the site, the ca.frankenoak.com. They have a shop page. Uh, looks like the clothing subscription box is actually doing pretty well too. So that's one of the top pages there. All right. Well, go ahead and download and export for the CSV for the all pages, for all links. Looks like it's available for download. It's popping up there. Download that. Let's go ahead and open it up because like I said for Moz in the other video, they like to put some extra stuff in there. I want to make sure that it is viewable. So you'll see this a lot. You'll see this in Statista and other files. It's a little bit of a an index or a readme, but it makes it really hard to figure out where the data starts if you're uh, processing it in Tableau or in R or whatever you're doing. Uh, so here we go. Much cleaner. You can save that file. Let's, let's inbound links and uh, the date. I'm just going to cut that off because that's super long. Let's call it clean. So this is our inbound links page with all of our different metrics and URLs and everything like that. I think we're good to go. That was the raw data. Got a lot of Excel files open. Sorry about that. And let's also download the top pages file. Looks like it's ready. It should pop up in a second. All right, so top pages. We'll open that up and clean it up as well. Here we go, delete those. And we'll save this as top pages clean. Boom. We're ready to rock in Tableau. Let's come back to, this is the file we had before. Uh, with the metrics, the keyword explorer info, the search engine results page, analysis and keyword suggestions. We're going to do a new sheet. We're going to go to data source, data, add new data source. 
more. We're going to add that top pages. And uh, I go back here and make sure I can do it again. We're going to add that same uh, inbound links page as well. So now if we go to new sheet, we have quite a few. Let's clean this up a little bit. So that's the SERP analysis. It's going to make these a little shorter so we can see what we're doing. And top pages at frankandoak.com. Cool. And let's rename that as well. That was just the SERP metrics. And we should be good to go. So very clean on what we are looking at. And yeah, so let's look at the top pages. See what we imported here. Title as a dimension, that's fine. URL as a dimension. And it looks like it actually did successfully figure out that these were uh, measures because it's below that line there. It used to say measures in Tableau until a few months ago. And now it's just that line. And then it's a number instead of an ABC. So that looks good to go. Uh, so you could do the title and make that a little bigger so you can see what those top pages on frankenoak.com and you can look at uh, outbound domains from page total links see the total links there you go uh, that's pretty good Let's see what else is on here anyway i don't know explore see what else you can make from that i don't really like what happened there but uh Page authority, Let's see if that shows up anything interesting. Let's see if there's a different way to look at it. Uh, there you go, so there's something somewhat fascinating. So the page authority sum, uh, might make sense to make that more of an average page authority. So that average page authority of those domains that are linking to the top pages at Frank and Oak. Um, it might be Shopman's clothing is more linked to from like a YouTube versus uh, some smaller sites, things like that. So find something that makes sense for you. We're going to call that one average page authority by uh, let's do Frank and Oak page. page. It doesn't really uh, have to be this precise one. Use what makes sense for you. I just wanted to get some of that data about the top pages on Frank and Oak uh, into another graph. Uh, the other one we had are the inbound links. And actually, let me do that similar to the other page. Uh, since we might want to bring in other competitors as well, I want to make that clearly uh, Frank and Oak. And we can do similar. Let's double check. Those are measures. Spam score looks like that would probably be a, oh, I didn't mean to make it a date. We can make that a number and we can change that to a measure. Uh, so that looks good. They also have the date first seen and date lost uh, of these. So those inbound links, let's bring in the titles. Maybe look at it that way. And cool. All right. So made in Canada, list Canada sounds like that Reddit page, or it's there as well. Uh, you can sort. You can set up a graph with a bar chart. Uh, you can exclude null if you would like and just see the top pages there. Uh, you could. On, so on the tooltip there, all it has is the title and the number of links to the page. Maybe I don't want to put the URL here because it's too messy, but if I want to add the actual link, I can drag that URL to that tooltip. And so now when I hover over it, it has that link. So it looks like there's a Shopify page there. 
a blog post on how to maintain a personal touch with customers as you grow. Sounds like an interesting article. 314 links to that page from there. Uh, so Shopify certainly driving some traffic, and that sounds fun. So let's call that uh, inbound links. Export it that way if you like, and you should be good to go.